All right, what up, what up? So my name is Tyler, welcome to the video. Today what we're gonna be talking about is the exact process of how I got to open my own basketball training facility, as well as the exact cost it took up front to get this thing up and running. So I've seen a lot of videos in the past somewhat like this. Felt like they didn't really give enough context or details or exactly how much it actually cost. So I had no idea going into this myself. Jumped in, went with the flow of things, figured it out, made it work. So, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to put on the screen the price of everything as I explain it and then at the end we'll tally it all together so you guys can see the exact cost it took to open the facility. So let's get right into the video. So the first step was obviously trying to find my own spot. Ideally I was looking at either trying to buy land and then build something or just find a lease space. It wasn't easy at all. I was looking constantly. You guys can look on LoopNet. You guys can just look for lease or buy properties. I was looking literally every single day for like a month. I started looking in March. I actually came and looked at this place for the first time in March, um, but it was you know really kind of industrial, very rough, had a lot of work to do. And it was also the beginning of the coronavirus. So, you know, I was like, eh, not really the best time. So I'm going to hold off. So May came around. I was like, you know what, I'm going to go look, look some more. So I looked at another facility in Lowell, probably 10 minutes further from here from my house. And then I just, you know what, I'm going to come back, look at it again, looked at it again. I was like, I think I can really make this thing work. It's going to take a little more money up front, but I think I can do it. And I think it's the best move for me. So I just jumped right into it. So as soon as I signed the lease, I was required to do first, last and security. So that up front was $9,300 uh, just to get the key. So that was the step one, obviously finding the location. Obviously, the build out needed a lot of work, so that's where a lot of the money came in. So the second step, quick, simple step, just had to copy the keys, so obviously I can't just have one set. I was also going to be having other people come in and do work, so I needed multiple keys. So that cost was $25.50. So again, not much, but it adds up. Step three, again, another simple one, but one you have to get done, was getting my business license within the city of Lowell. Um, because I had a physical location. So I just had to go to the town hall, apply for that business license. Again, that was just a small cost of $50. Step four was getting my insurance. So I had insurance previously, but that was a lot cheaper and it was simpler because I was training out of facilities. I didn't have my own space. So I had to completely switch up my insurance. So the insurance for this space, having players train here was completely different. That was actually very, very complicated to get. I went through an insurance provider called the Camp Team. Took a lot of researching and calling and being on the phone to try to get that, but finally got it done because obviously I can't really do anything until I have that um, so that cost was $1,175. That was actually the first of two insurances, which we'll cover kind of toward the end. So step number five was basically starting the build out. That was on the staircase. So building that upstairs thing where parents can sit as well as fixing up kind of the stairs, cleaning that up. Um, so there was a lot of woodwork involved and obviously have to pay for labor as well. So the total cost for that was $1,651. So again, another decent expense, um, but we're just getting started. So. so step number six was ordering the hoops and getting them installed. So I had two hoops. One was a 72 inch backboard. The other was a 60 inch backboard. So I had to pay for the hoops as well as the installation. So both of those combined was $5,600. Definitely didn't want to skimp out on the hoops, want to get something good. Uh, got two in-ground hoops, kind of want to get something off the wall, but based on the structure of the building, it was tough. So just went straight in-ground, cut a hole in the concrete, put those in on both sides. So yeah, $5,600 for that. So step number seven was just kind of ordering some miscellaneous stuff for the bathroom, like a trash barrel, a bunch of paper towels, a bunch of toilet paper, soap dispenser, all that kind of stuff for the bathroom area. And the total cost for that was $134.25. Um, so another just simple expense, but again, the small things that have to get done, kind of tedious, but gotta do them. So the next expense after we kind of got the hoops ordered, planned the installation, the upstairs thing was getting done. We wanted to start painting because obviously basically had to paint almost everything. Um, the walls were somewhat painted, but not a clean kind of white wanted to clean up that staircase, which is the black and red. Um, so the total cost for painting was only $144. Reason for that was because obviously I did a lot of it. Family helped out, Manny helped out, Caleb helped out. Um, so that was a big help. So it didn't have to have a huge expense on the paint, just basically had to buy the supplies and just basically use my own time. 
So the next expense was the wall pad. So those are actually in the process of getting put up right now. Those had like a two to three week lead time. So I had to order those a month ago and that was $2,060. So I ordered 18 wall pads, uh, some for that side and then some for this side as well, obviously. Um, so yeah, that was $2,060. Obviously had to pay for shipping as well, which was included in that cost, but yeah. The next expense was the carpet installation going all the way up the stairs as well as all the way up top as well on the mezzanine. So for the carpet itself, just had to search around for that. Nothing complex, didn't get no crazy carpet, um, just basic color and obviously had to get that installed as well. So the total cost for that with the carpet plus the installation was $365. That would complete the entire staircase, the entire top, mezzanine, everything. Um, so yeah, looks really good now. So definitely glad I did that. The next expense, which was the most expensive, was the flooring and the lines, obviously, that came with it. But yeah, so the floor got done, like I said, the 29th and then the lines just got done recently so the total cost for that was twenty two thousand dollars three hundred and seventy so i could have obviously chosen a hardwood that would have been even more money probably in the forty thousand dollar range but the floor that i got is like kind of a multi-purpose type floor it looks like a hardwood but isn't exactly obviously a hardwood um definitely a really good surface that i really like and all the people that i've trained liked it as well so definitely glad i went with that flooring the next expense is the second part of the insurance, which is for the floor, for the hoops, for the material within the lease space that I own. The expense for that is $900. Uh, so basically all insurance in all was like, is like $2,100. And that insurance is for one year. So I'm gonna have to pay that insurance again next year. And the last expense is going to be the wall pad, the wood, that we put behind it so that whole wall that's going behind the wall pads plus the labor for that that's actually in the process of getting done right now so estimated cost i'd say between 800 to 900 so we'll say 800 on the lower end and then final one quick little was obviously the wi-fi so i got that right as i started that is 118 dollars that's a recurring expense every single month but obviously you could say that's upfront because it was at the beginning when i started that was all the upfront money that I had to spend uh, just to get the place up and running basically before I even announced that this was going on, that I had the gym. That's it. So, so the total cost, let's do the math right here. Obviously, I have it on the screen. But the grand total for everything, $44,693.75. Uh, that's up front, that's to get this thing going. Like I said, no loans. If you watched the last video about the transformation of the gym, I said, you know, just save my money, saved every single penny for the last couple years. So yeah, that's how I was able to do that. That's that, gym's open, rocking and rolling now. Excited for this place, excited for what's to come. If you guys have any ideas of stuff you guys want to see, leave that in the comments. Um, any type of YouTube video is gonna stay consistent with at least one video a week. Yeah, so let's get it going. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully we'll see you in the next one.